Hello and welcome. This is Kendra and I'm taking part in a collaboration hop with a few of the Kendra's Card Challenge video team members and some guest designers. And today we're all creating projects with digital products from Pokadoodles using the Challenge 12 sketches. And this is a giveaway hop, so stay tuned for details on how to enter and have a chance to win a digital download from me. Now, if you're not familiar with my quarterly card making challenges, it's where you can create a bunch of cards with six sheets of six by six pattern paper using the cutting guides and card sketches that I provide in a free PDF digital download. Plus, if you share your cards on social media, you can have a chance to win over $1,000 in prizes from 20 different companies, including Pokadoodles. For more information about the challenge and to download the free printable, visit kendrascardchallenges.com. I will also link the Challenge 12 introduction video above and in the description box below, which explains more about it and how to enter. For my project, I'm using the Bella Bear Christmas digital pattern papers and sentiments. What I love about working with digital downloads is that you can print out as many as you need and resize the images and sentiments to whatever size you need for your project. Now I printed the diagonal stripes, the polka dots, and the red pattern with the poinsettia flowers on it, and I printed it on just regular copy paper. Now a few weeks ago, I shared this card made with these digital products on Instagram, and it was super cute. I just love this bear, but I used the same papers and sentiments along with this gift box parcel image from the same digital collection. And I also used sketch number five from challenge 12. Now, I didn't record myself making this card, but I love it. I colored the little bear with Copic markers and I added touch of gloss to the eyes to make them shiny and some stickles glitter glue to the package. And I popped the layered circle up with some foam tape to give it some dimension, super cute. I'm using the same pattern papers on this card along with sketch number 13. And I've already cut the pattern paper strips according to the measurements on the sketch. I'm using a white five and a half by eight and a half inch half sheet of heavyweight cardstock for my card base that I've scored at four and a quarter inches. And I'm using this paper punch here to help cut out the triangles from two of the three strips to turn them into banners. And since I printed this on regular copy paper, for some reason, my punch didn't want to cut all the way through on this striped piece. So I had to use my scissors to uh, fix that. Since the dotted piece is too big for the paper punch, I'm going to have to use scissors to cut the banner out by hand. The dots help me to find the center. So from the center, I'm cutting up just a bit and then I'm cutting from each corner to the top of that slit. Now that I have these banners cut, I'm gluing these down with some Nuvo liquid adhesive that I have placed in my precision glue press with the fine tip applicator. And since it's copy paper, I only need to add just a little bit of glue. Now for the sentiment, I cut uh, the deck the hall sentiment out using a stitched circle die and a slightly bigger stitch circle for the red layer. And I, of course, used that red poinsettia paper to cut that second layer out. And to make these banners stand out, I'm placing thin red foil strips along all of the edges. Now, these red foil sticker strips are peel off stickers from Love from Lizzie. And you won't see me do all of this on camera, but I do add the foil stickers along the bottom of the angled pieces on those banners and across the top. And I'm using a scrap piece of green cardstock for that strip that goes across the middle. And to decorate this card a little more, I had some holly leaves from a die set in my stash. So I cut those out using that same green paper. And the red berries I cut from some red foil cardstock to match those stickers. And then I ended up adding more sticker strips below the sentiment. But while I finish up this card, I'll tell you more about the giveaway. To enter, you'll just need to complete the form linked in the description box below when you're finished with the hop. You have until November 18th of 2023 to enter for a chance to win a digital download from me. You only need to complete the form once. While you're watching the videos in the hop, we'd love it if you would like and subscribe along the way if you like what you see. You'll find the next person on the hop in the description box below. And you can also use the hashtag KCC12 Pokadoodles to pull up all of the videos in the hop. The winner will be announced after the hop ends on the community tab here on my YouTube channel. So make sure you're a subscriber so you don't miss any of my videos or announcements. And so you can claim your prize if you're a winner. 
And here is my finished card. A big thank you to Polka Doodles for collaborating with us and giving us these awesome digital products to work with. I'd like to invite you to join in on the challenge for a chance to win over $1,000 worth of prizes. Now the challenge runs through December 31st of 2023, so you still have time to create cards and get photos uploaded to enter. Again, for more information, visit kendrascardchallenges.com to get all of the details. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hop along with the rest of the team, and I hope to see you again soon. Have a wonderful day.